In this session, we're going to introduce you to the new option to download questions and answers as a PDF. As instructors, you can always download a CSV file for you or to share with colleagues. But this option allows you to share the option with students after completion of a session. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm here in Quiz Show, but you can do this in any of the newer sessions made within the cloud, with the exception of Whirl and Spark as of March of 2022. As we update Spark and Whirl, we will add these options. It doesn't make any difference if you're doing instructor-led or self-paced. I'm going to go ahead and choose self-paced. And I'm going to go to options. And I'm going to go down here underneath reports and data. And you're going to see at the very bottom, allow participants to download questions at the end. I'm going to turn that on. Now, even if you don't want to make the option of downloading questions to the end to your students, you can always at any time as an instructor, Go to your content page where you create your questions and go to downloads and you'll see you have the option of downloading this information as a PDF or a CSV, really depending on what your needs are. So what the students will see, for example, in a self-paced game, they'll see this download PDF as they finish the session. If it's a classroom session where they've used their smart device or computer to interact with the session, they will also get a download PDF option as well. One last thing I want to show you here. It doesn't make any difference if this is a self-paced session or a classroom session. You have the option to send out not only the questions and the answers, but the preview and summary slides for others to review or to preview. For example, maybe a colleague wants to look at the content before it's published. So what we're going to do here is once you're done completing your session, go ahead and publish it. And you're going to see now here, there's an additional link you have. It's called content preview link. And you can either copy this and send it out to people. It will only be available to those people you send the link to. And depending on the participant's sign-in requirements. So in this example, I have no sign-in required, which means anybody can look at it that I send this link to. If I want to restrict who can look at it, I can go in here and say choose who can participate or sign-in required, which requires them to create an account on the C3 cloud. I'm going to go ahead and stick with no sign-in required. And keep in mind, at any time, you can change this to any of these formats. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the link and show you what you're going to see. This happens to be for a Thanksgiving game that was sent out last year. And not only do you see the images, but we scroll down, you'll see there's a summary slide here. We have a question with an image and so on and so forth. Though each of the different formats within the Bravo Zone may present it a little differently, in this particular example, you'll notice we have 13 questions at the top. This happens to be in a quiz show. Well, that's it. If you have any other comments or questions, feel free to contact us. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your next presentation more engaging. Take care.